Complaints are taking off when it comes to airline seats. News 2's Brendan Clark takes a look at how you can get the most for your buck in today's Consumer Report. Airline profits hit $25.6 billion last year, but customer complaints also shot up as well, 30% higher than the year before. Dissatisfaction driven by cramped seating, long lines, and having to pay for services that used to be free. Here's how you can squeeze the best out of the airlines that are trying to squeeze you. With airlines packing in more seats than ever before, savvy travelers book seats ahead to avoid the dreaded middle seat. But increasingly, that's not an option, at least not for free. Airlines have long charged for extra leg room, but now selecting even a regular economy seat in advance can cost you. One tip, airlines will often release the seats they haven't sold or were canceled 72 hours ahead of the flight. So keep trying then and you might score a decent free seat. Knowing which seats give you the most room can help too. Check out SeatGuru.com for information about most airlines' seating plans, including size, limited recline, or leg room. If, despite your best efforts, you're still in a cramped seat or your flight is over four hours, get up frequently and stretch your legs and feet to avoid blood clots. Another travel mishap you can avoid, missing your connecting flight. These days, with increased security, Consumer Reports recommends allowing at least two hours between domestic flights and four if you're traveling overseas. Sitting in front can save as much as 15 minutes when deplaning, though you might have to pay for that seat. Avoid booking the last flight of the day, too. And if possible, also avoid major airports that have the worst on-time departure performance. And you do have rights if you are bumped involuntarily from a flight and are delayed. You may be entitled to up to $650 if your flight is domestic and $1,300 if it's international. This according to the Department of Transportation regulations. The latest satisfaction survey found that, as in the past years, JetBlue, Southwest Airlines, and Virgin America topped the ratings. I'm News 2's Brendan Clark.